My name is Derek Kaufman. I'm a project manager from the PAC Northwest specializing in leak detection. We got, uh, we got called out for a leak locate for a facility, industrial facility in Oregon. They had a leak they discovered on their fire loop line, but the leak was known to be there since the late 80s. Every fire loop system uh, has a jockey pump uh, that comes standard. It's just, uh, it's just there as a as to keep the system pressurized should there ever be a fire and then it starts spraying water and putting the fire out. It, it has to keep pumping water into the system. Instead of repairing the leak, they put another jockey pump. This one was, well, I mean, approximately the size of a 55 gallon barrel. It was, it was a very massive uh, jockey pump. I guess the thought being they needed to keep this line pressurized, knowing that there was a leak. And at some point it got so bad that both jockey pumps were running simultaneously, constantly, day and night. No one knows how long it had been leaking this much water, but when it was tested, to see how much water they were leaking, they were losing half a million gallons a day. The person in charge of adding that, that jockey pump had retired and left the company, and it was a different director who inherited this problem, who now had to, that had become so bad that they were losing 500,000 gallons a day. It just wasn't feasible to let this jockey pump just keep running. They had to fix this leak. They called us out, and when I asked uh, my site contact what, uh, what evidence of leaking there was, he told me there was not a single drop of water that could be seen surfacing. Being as we're they were losing so much water at such a massive vo volume and that there was no evidence of it surfacing anywhere, it was believed that it was most likely under the building because this particular facility had a two foot thick slab on grade foundation. Locating the leak on this particular line was gonna be very, very difficult. But we were able to trace the line and find each and every single connection point. We found the loudest source of noise. We correlated in that area and it put us right uh, to the front of the building and asked my site contact, could I, could I go in and find inside the building where this line actually stubs up and when it, when it actually comes out of the ground in the building to feed the fire sprinklers and he took me to the to the area, and when I listened to the line there, it, it almost blew my eardrums out, it was so loud. It was uh, absolutely screaming at that point. We were able to determine that the there was a very high likelihood that that leak was right on the joint underneath where it rose out of the building. And uh, when that information was conveyed to the client, they were very, very happy with that information.